Hey, this is Dave from ERC, and I've got the van all packed, ready to go to Flight Fest 2018. And this is going to be sort of a little video log slash commentary on how the whole thing goes. So I'm hoping my son John does really good at this event. He doesn't like to get out with a lot of people in big crowds. It makes him kind of nervous. He's been diagnosed with sort of an Asperger's syndrome type thing, and I don't know how we can deal with it all the time, but... We try our best, and he's got this ambition of his to show off his wares that he's been doing with 3D printing. And one of the things he made was this 3D printed combat plane right here. And it's got a 3D printed body, as you can see right here, and the parts are interchangeable in case you get in a crash. And it's also got a 3D printed tailpiece. So he wants to test this out and maybe he wants to see how I fly it. I don't think he's going to fly it, but uh, I think I'll probably end up flying it, and he's going to see the results. He may throw it for me. And he also wants to see other people's reaction to his 3D printing and see how they like it. So that might keep him going. We hope. We'll see how it goes. Flight Fest, Ohio, 2018. All right, I mean, I turned my brightness down. So. Mine's rolling. Here we go. Here we are. There's, There's there. Laura. Hey, everybody. Two cannons rolling. Two cannons rolling. But now I got a 3D printer. I can make a better one. <laughs> Welcome to Spool to Cool, and I'm John. And uh, this is my 3D printed combat plane. It's got a 3D printed fuselage, uh, 3D printed parts all over the place on it. Let's fly. Well, we did indeed take it out and test it, give it its first test flight. And John hung in there with bated breath, wondering what would happen. But it actually worked pretty good. His design held up, which is what he thought, and he wanted to know if it would actually fly, and it did. And, of course, that's what Flight Test is all about. And Flight Fest is all about having that great family time and the experience of meeting new people and just hanging out with a crowd. We met one guy that was a, actually a fan of my channel. His channel is Jack's RC Explorer. That's Jack's RC Explorer. J-A-X. So later we entered the 3D printed combat plane into the actual combat and we stayed up for a little bit but eventually we did have a crash and have to do some repairing. Fortunately Flight Fest has two giant build tents with lots of tables and hot melt guns where you can do your repairing and get ready to go. So we already flew it once, we got a crash landing. This was with the one we showed earlier, but why bring just one? We have a total of three bodies with us. This is the second one over here, newer than this one. Fresh film it, should be a good one to go. Are you having fun, John? Trying to. But I think the highlight of the trip is when John got to show his 3D printed combat plane design to Josh Bixler. Did you fly it in your combat? <laughs> this one specifically, no, but a copy of it that we already crashed. Dude, I am so proud of you. That is absolutely brilliant. That is gorgeous. What a great idea. Space off our one of our one of our former club members, one of our, well, not former club members, his former club captain, I guess you call it. He uh, designed the original plane that had wood on the body, but it was pretty durable as it was. Yeah. And this one is printed with ABS plastic. Okay. You know, that's hard to print. Oh, yeah. But I have a heated bed on mine, so I was able to get away with it. It's also only 10% infill. But it's still pretty strong. I like the super strong. Yeah. I just love how thought out of it. Even that peg there for the motor comes out. I see that. It has a hole right there. Yeah. yeah. The peg for the motor is also 3D printed in ABS. So you just slide it in, lock it in, and you're done. Yeah. yeah. What a great thought. Yeah. I love all the mounting holes you have. Yeah. These pegs here and the motor peg is all solid fill. Okay. Yeah, oh, this no, peg ABS. actually slides out yeah, too. Yeah, slides out So as you well, simply yeah. just simply, simply printed that separate. Yeah. Brilliant, man. So uh, after crashes, the theory is you can just take the parts, yeah. build a new one, and you're on, off and, and running again. a separate tail bracket there. See that. The vertical pins in 
love it. Blue on. If you see me walking around and you're flying up, please let me see it. I would love to watch it fly. Well, we got one that's crashed over there, but it's not. It's not hardly damaged. Yeah, I flew in the last combat. Mainly, mainly the one, what happened to that one that crashed. After it crashed, of course, that's when the most damage <laughs> the, the I, big crack down here, and the elevator servo got stripped out. And but, I got hit three times up while I was flying. On but this, this is a carbon fiber big tube. Carbon fiber tube. On the front edge of yeah. the wing. So they were just whacking off that. And, and they couldn't break it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what it took to break it is a big nose dive in the grass. <laughs> Yeah. So John seemed to be having a really good time and not having any real problems at all. So we decided to go back to the build tent and see if we could find us a speed build kit that we could put together. We decided on the FT-22, which is a pusher jet that seemed pretty rugged and probably would be easy to build. So we went with that and then went back to the build tent to put it all together. Now we can put this oh, back on. This tape came undone. Oh, did it? Yeah, we're the tape down. Put the back on the bottom. You got a video at 11? Yeah. On the YouTube channel. You built that from scratch? Yeah, it's a That's speed a build kit. That's awesome. Flight okay, test plans. And without the video. Yeah. Okay. So thanks to the great vendors there at the event, we were able to get parts for our FT-22, like a motor ESC and props. Two of the vendors, Stone Blue Airlines and RC Foam Kits, were very helpful. And then there was a third one. And uh, what is your name? I'm Patrick with Plain Nuts. Plain Nuts? Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, I have to, <laughs> you have to be careful around you then. Yeah. But uh, fly like your nuts. Oh, and they're look, from North Carolina. Bobby's down there. Because he's too tail heavy. Okay. Yeah. And so they I put them on the front. It's like I had yeah, nuts I on. Do <laughs> you hear me? You want to patent that device. You mm -hmm. make some money. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. You can come see me. If you went straight down into the ground, it Okay, we're back. Unfortunately, I didn't get any flight footage of the FT-22 actually flying, but it did quite well, and I was pretty happy with it, considering it's just cardboard. But, uh, you know, those flight test kits, those speed build kits, really do work, I can tell you that. And they're fun to put together. And I think overall, the event was great for John and me. We really got together on everything. And any problems we might have between us, Flight Fest really did cure that. It just helps with the bonding and everything. I, I, I'd highly recommend it to anyone that wants to take their kids or their family just up there and have a great time. And I think John was really pleased with the way his 3D printed plane worked. And it's still in one piece even now. So we're happy with what happened. And uh, I think the next thing I'm going to be doing is working on building the uh, kit. Hold on just a sec. I have a founder's kit here and so I think what I'm going to do next is do a build video series on putting this together. I know Josh Bixler has already done that but I'm going to probably put some different twists on it. Maybe put a flight controller in here. I was thinking of the F411. Is it F411? I believe it's the F411. It's a Maytech flight controller. Very small and I think I might put that in here and try it out. And one thing good about that flight controller, it has a setting in uh, the iNav clean flight, or just iNav if you want to call it that, for a differential thrust setup for these twin props. So that would be really handy just to have that and plug it in and see how it works. So we'll see you next time.